Hey guys, so I have a React video for you today and it's one I'm really excited about. It's kind of a new thing that I want to start doing on my channel and it's not a typical reacting video, but I'm going to be reacting to trailers. One of the trailers is kind of older, but I've been avoiding it like the plague. The first one I'm going to react to is the biggest request I get biggest question I've been getting on social media lately is what do you think about the boy and I have not watched the trailer because I reserved it for this video and even my boyfriend came over the other day he's like I have to show you this trailer and he started it and I immediately paused it I'm like nope I am gonna react to it so we're gonna sit here and react to it now so this one will be released in this month, January 22nd, and it is about an American nanny who's shocked to find out that the boy she's babysitting is actually a life-size doll, and then she starts to believe that the doll is real, so let's play it. It's a romance. Already. <laughs> Don't cover his face, that's creepy. She covers his face. And of course she leaves him alone. Well what the hell is she supposed to do if she wants to show her? So I can get into it. Supernatural. Be good to him, won't you? Okay, that ending was really bad. <laughs> so I would say that first off, my first impression is they're hopping on the Annabelle train because it's a doll. But that doesn't mean Annabelle can be the only doll movie. Obviously, there's Chucky. But I feel like it is kind of very similar to Annabelle being a possessed doll. Although this seems like a haunted doll, not so much a possession, like a demon or something. It's like a ghost. But that being said, I would, I feel like I would like it because of the imagery in the trailer. It takes place in like a foresty, almost like woman in black vibes is what I'm getting from this. So. I'm actually looking forward to it. I'll definitely see it in theaters and report back. So the teaser trailer for The Conjuring 2 came out today and I love the first Conjuring so much. So let's take a look. Again, beautiful imagery, just like the first one. I really like it. Just now. It's kind of pretty cool. I can get into that, that's creepy. Huh. Hmm. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> I like that. I like the crosses part. You know, it's James Wan when he does that, sorry. So it seems like that's gonna be a separate entity. It just has Ed and Lorraine Warren in it, just like the first one, that's the only similarities other than it's like a possession one, but it's saying it's a true story from Ed and Lorraine, which are real people as we know. So that one looks a lot more action-y, like it has a lot more stuff going on, like there's more possessed people it seems like, or even it looks like we saw an entity, like a shadow or something. So that one looks pretty cool. I think the acting looks really good with the little girl. The scene where she's on the ceiling was the best part of the trailer. I'm really excited for both of those to come out this year and also a lot of you have been asking about my opinion on the forest because I am a psych student and you know I have very you know I have issues with people painting things a certain way in film and the I think the biggest issue I have with the forest is that it's an all-white cast yet it takes place in Japan. Other than that I'm not going to hold too much of a grudge against it. I am going to go see it, so I will do a review on it, and I'll probably, you know, fill you guys in on that kind of aspect if it is more offensive or something, given that it's a suicide forest. But it is a real thing, so it's not like they're making it up. It's something that actually exists. So I don't really know how to feel about it yet, but I will let you know when I see the film. So those are the two trailers that I decided to react to today. Make sure to leave some down below of recent films or films that are coming out this year that you want me to react to or at least report back as far as trailers go and just movies that you want me to review this year as they come out. So I hope you enjoyed this little new segment that I'm doing and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.